Most of us by now have come to the conclusion that Wolf's exclusion is strange, but maybe the more ambitious couple of us have even come to the conclusion that he could potentially be making an appearance in 2016 with between that time period of January and March. It's kind of a crazy thought, but there's a couple of reasons as to why this is the case. Before we continue though, I already know, it's delusional at this point to expect more characters. We should be happy with what we have, and I'm not saying that I'm disappointed with the final results of Smash, but there are just so many painful signs that showcase somewhere that Wolf might potentially make a return, or it just looks like he will. This could just be the delusion, I know, and trust me, I was a really believer. I know all about delusion. At this point, at this stage, I'm not the only one coming to this conclusion. There's plenty of other people in the Smash scene that all agree Wolf has somewhat of a good chance of showing up in 2016. Or rather, they wouldn't be surprised if he shows up in 2016. We gotta remember that even though Daddy Sakurai's wild ride appears to have ended with the final Smash announcement, this shit still ain't over until we get our final two DLC characters. Which I say three DLC characters. The way I feel about the whole thing is we really cannot call it quits until we finally get the last few characters. We already know who those are gonna be, but we haven't reached that final point yet. So we still have a couple of months until this whole thing is truly wrapped up and put away. But anyways, one big thing that a lot of people are using as evidence of Wolf making a return in 2016 is Star Fox Zero. The game was initially delayed until 2016, so that's kind of a big attribute of it. We don't know if Wolf is necessarily going to make an appearance in Star Fox Zero, but the release window of that game is, funnily enough, within that first quarter. So potentially, considering that the DLC characters will also be released within the first quarter, Maybe it would make more sense if Nintendo waited until they announced Wolf making a return as DLC. It would just coincide more with the Star Fox Zero release, and it makes a lot of sense when you think about it like that. None of the things that I mentioned today should be used as concrete evidence or proof that Wolf is going to make a return solid in 2016, but I'm just pointing out some potential signs that might be there. Don't take any of this seriously at all, but there's a lot of speculation to be had from some of these moves that seem to coincide with each other. All I'm saying with this point is that they potentially delayed Wolf to line in with the release of Star Fox Zero. It would make perfect sense to me. And now the next thing we have to talk about is the Smash Brothers official website. Now, if you're looking at this on a browser through a desktop, then you'll see what I mean. Even if you look at it through phone or mobile, you, you, you'll see what I mean there too. But take a look at this. This image has literally caused me physical agony ever since I first saw it on Twitter. And I know for some of you guys out there, it's gotta do the same thing. It doesn't seem right. I mean, who, who thought this was a good idea? I mean, come on, it just doesn't work. <laughs> I know, I know, whatever. Maybe that's the way it is. And I'm not saying that Sakurai could potentially just say, fuck it, I'm done right now, this is the way I'm going to leave it, but it just seems wrong. Something's missing from that. It's just so painful, it seems so obvious. I know, I'm getting really flabbergasted about this, but I mean, look at the row alignment for God's sake. I mean, you got the newcomer DLC on the top, and then you got the, 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 the veteran returning DLC on the bottom, and it just seems so logical that one more person would fit in that. This image has been going around like crazy, and you know, I posted about it a, a few days ago, or maybe like a week or two ago, and everyone seemed to come to the com same conclusion that this image just felt incomplete. And we all know for a fact, Daddy Sakurai is a goddamn perfectionist. I don't even think he would be satisfied seeing an image like this on the main website. Th to be honest with you, when it comes to logical evidence and solid concrete proof, this image isn't it. It's not. But it just feels like this is one of the most solid signs to me personally, you don't have to agree with me, that Wolf is potentially going to make a return. This image alone, there's way more evidence, you know, the Star Fox Zero thing, okay. But to me, this feels the most out of place. And this to me feels like it's going to be the most solid proof, okay? That's all. Like just seeing the way it looks on the website, I don't feel like Daddy Sakurai would be okay with that. I mean, like I said, if he is, then whatever. We'll, we'll have to accept the truth, but still, you get what I'm saying, right? It just doesn't seem right to me, so it damn sure can't seem right to Daddy Sakurai. Well, although it's his fucking game, so I mean, who the hell am I to say what feels right to me shouldn't feel right to him? You know? Also, we cannot forget that Wolf is the only veteran that's left out of Smash Brothers at this point, besides the Ice Climbers, Pokemon Trainer, and you know, Pichu, Young Link, I guess if you want to get into that, and Snake. But the reason as to why those characters were left out were way more logical and made way more sense, made way more sense than Wolf being left out, considering that Snake 
with, uh, with, with, with Konami and whatnot, maybe the contracts weren't there anymore, maybe the agreements couldn't be fulfilled the same way that they were back when Brawl happened. And then when you look at Pokemon Trainer, they were obviously replaced by just single standing Pokemon. I would have loved to see Ivysaur make a return. It didn't happen, but oh well. They just move onward with more relevant Pokemon. Greninja probably took Squirtle slot, etc, etc. Charizard remained in the game, so that's a plus. In a way, I only feel like really Ivysaur was left out. And then Ice Climbers, obviously technical specifications, those guys couldn't get back in. But every single other vet managed to make a return. Pichu, Young Link, I mean, th those are obviously Toon Link and regular Pichu, Pikachu, you know? But the, the, the veterans who really stand out with me are Lucas in this situation. Because Lucas was a Brawl veteran, and he made a return. But, 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 but no, Wolf? Wolf is the most confusing one. I mean, he's, he's owned by a Nintendo IP, and you know, it's like, why not Wolf? We talked about this plenty of times before, so I don't want to harp on it for too long. But there was literally no reason for him not to make a, a return, considering other characters that have before. So of course, we all know what this leads us to. The solid conclusion that potentially Wolf, and I, I say solid in terms of just the, the, the little bit of evidence and facts that we have and piecing this whole thing together, it could obviously all just fall apart and we get nothing about Wolf later on. But we all have to kind of come to the conclusion that there may just be a surprise waiting for us in the beginning of 2016. Lucas, Roy, and Mewtwo are the returning DLC veterans. Mewtwo was revealed during the 50 Fact Extravaganza, so you can consider that a Smash Brothers focused broadcast. We won't be getting any more of those, but what are something that we will be getting more of in the future, in the very near future rather? Nintendo Directs. And Lucas and Roy were both revealed during Nintendo Directs, during the April 1st one. So considering that, even though the Smash Brothers Focus broadcast may be over, like many of you have been telling me, that doesn't necessarily mean that the Smash news is over entirely, as they could reveal stuff for Smash Brothers within the future during Nintendo Directs, even though the news, I guess, wouldn't be as monumental as a Smash Brothers focused broadcast, like the 50 Fact Extravaganza or the final broadcast, what I'm trying to say to you guys is that, think about this, Nintendo was obviously going to do a Direct in 2016, considering the advent of the NX and other things like that, so when they do that broadcast, it's probably going to be a, through a Nintendo Direct, right? So if the Nintendo Direct happens at any point between January and March, wouldn't that fit the time window of the DLC for Smash Brothers coming out? It would also fit the time window of Star Fox Zero coming out. It would make so much sense if during that Nintendo Direct that Nintendo does for the beginning of 2016 that they also reveal the end of it. Hey, we also got Wolf coming back. That's what I think is going to happen. Wolf would be revealed in the first Nintendo Direct of 2016 where they talk about their plans for the rest of the year. That's my thought though. I'm not saying it's going to happen for a fact, but to me, I feel like that'll be the most logical way this whole thing goes down, considering that Lucas and Roy were revealed during Nintendo Directs, which means that Wolf's chances of being revealed through a Direct are very logical and it could definitely happen. So who knows? We'll see in the future, but you also got to let me know how you feel Wolf potentially may be revealed in 2016. Will he just be popped up on us and surprised through the release of the previous DLC that we know is going to happen? Like, will he just be revealed alongside Corrin and Bayonetta and just, hey, we also got Wolf? Or will he be revealed during a Direct? I think the Direct is the most logical one. I mean, and then there's other little factors to this whole thing, too. Like, there only being 58 characters when, you know, it's not an even 60. I mean... I guess we can speculate that maybe he wouldn't leave it on that, but I'm fine with whatever the hell we get, and I can't emphasize this enough. Even if we do not get Wolf, I am literally not upset at all. I'm still extremely happy with the roster that we have. I already got my new main, my barefoot dragon waifu. Yes, I'm fine. If we do get Wolf, that would be great. That would make it a 59 roster. Would it not be that even 60 that seems like it's most logical to do? No, but who gives a damn? It's still going to be amazing regardless. Now this is only my own opinion, but I feel like it's so damn obvious that Wolf is going to make a return in Smash Brothers that I'm willing to bet money on this shit. You know, I'm willing to put everything on the line. If Wolf is not revealed at some point in the early January 2016, then I will literally make a sandwich out of my own ball sack, nuts included, and choke on that bitch on camera live. Quote me on that shit. Like I said, leave me your speculation in the comments as to how you feel Wolf may potentially be revealed to us. I'm more than excited to get in the comments and respond to you, dude, so let me know. And I'll talk to you niggas in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.